Hi guys, and welcome back to Plant Based Fitness. Today I want to talk to you guys about something called SMR. Okay, self myofascial release. Now, I bet you're wondering what the heck is this guy talking about? What I'm talking about is basically foam rolling. Alright, self myofascial release. Self massage the muscle, release all the tension within the muscle until you release all that lactic acid buildup within your muscles, causing you to feel a little less sore. You will still feel sore, but it won't be as bad. If you, as if you didn't do a uh, uh, foam rolling session. Now, I know there's a lot of stuff against foam rolling right now. Um, it's something I use personally. Uh, I feel absolutely amazing after it's done. And it's something I recommend to everybody that works out that I know. Um, because, I don't know about you, uh, the, sore next day, the soreness next day after my workout, I absolutely hate it. I hate it with a passion. Real quick, let's talk about what happens when you work out. You guys know, when you work out, you, you, know, you build some muscle, right? I don't have a lot of muscle myself, but you build muscle. And when you go do the act of working out, lifting weights, all right, what you do is you break down the muscle, you tear, you actually tear, you put micro tears into your muscle. And when that happens, you're actually tearing the muscle with micro tears away from the bone causing it to have to rebuild and grow stronger. Well, every time you do that, within the muscle fiber, there's lactic acid that builds up, there's waste from your body that goes into your muscles, and it sits there until you're not sore. Or you use the two tennis balls that people tape together, and they usually use that for their spine, the hamstring, anywhere where there's a, uh, an indent in between the muscle, or a spot where it's really hard to get. Um, deep into the muscle so those are uh, three options you can use um, and it is a great tool to work out all those little nagging sore spots within your body so to finish this video uh, back when I was in college I took a biomechanics class and uh, one of the assignments was we had to do a, I had to do a foam rolling exercise video uh, I believe I did two if not you know I'll, I'll, I'll show one and uh, I, des I described uh, foam rolling a certain part of the body, um, the shin bone, the, the muscle next to the shin bone, the anterior tibialis muscle. Um, and for what I do in jiu-jitsu, I play a lot of closed guard. Uh, I'll post a picture somewhere right here for you guys so you guys understand what the closed guard is. And that works the anterior tibialis muscle more than most muscles because of uh, locking, interlocking of the feet. Um, so I will show you guys that video. I'll show you guys maybe a couple more videos also. What I'm going to show is uh, a foam rolling exercise to release all the fascia and the blood in your anterior, anterior to be out. Alright, so what you're going to do, take your foam roller, lay it in front of you, and you're going to start by putting the uh, bottom part of your knee, the top part of your shin, on the foam roller, right in the middle, all right? One leg out, and you're going to use your hands as support, all right? From now, from here, you're going to just roll all the way down to your ankle joint, all right? And back up, all right? And you're going to do that until you don't feel any pain whatsoever uh, in the anterior tibialis, all right? The anterior tibialis runs from right here to the bottom of your ankle, so... All you're going to do, you're going to roll it forward and roll back. All right, and like I said, you're going to do that until you don't feel any pain whatsoever or the knot or whatever you have in your leg is gone. All right, and then when you're done with one leg, you switch right to the other leg. All right, just like so. The next foam rolling exercise we're going to do is good for your gluteus maximus. Alright, so what you do, take your foam roller, put it in front of you, you're going to sit uh, predominantly uh, on one side more than the other, alright, and the side that you're sitting on, the opposite side of the foot boat plants on the floor, and then you, the leg that's uh, predominantly being sat on goes up to your knee, alright, 
And depending on how flexible you are or how much pain you feel right now is how far you bring your foot back and how close you bring your knee to your chest. What you want to do, you want to pinpoint the target, that target of the glute, uh, your gluteus maximus that you mo feel most pain in, and you want to foam roll just that one little spot. And then once you find another target spot that you feel pain in, you adjust lower or higher depending on where that spot is and foam roll it until you don't feel that pain anymore. All right? Now, so you can see the side view. I'm here, I sit here, and I bring my, my arm, wraps around my knee and hugs my knee, and I sit more on my one side than the other, and I just go up and down, depending on where my target spot is. All right? So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. Uh, if I said something wrong, please correct me. Um, I'm always looking to be corrected. I love it. Um, if you guys want to add anything, you know, be free to add whatever you want. And uh, if you have any questions, just hit me up in the comment. Hit me up on message, Messenger. Find me on Instagram. And uh, thanks, guys. I really appreciate you watching this video. Hope you, have, hope you guys have a great day.